Hello there everyone and welcome to my channel. I'm Marie. Today we are going to crochet this cute little bonnet together. It is the Iris Crochet Baby Bonnet. It is my own design and the size that we are making here today is a size three to six months. You will be able to find this pattern on my website for free in this size and you will be able to buy the pattern in additional sizes up to 18 months. The bonnet is really easy and simple to make and even if you are just a beginner crocheter I'm sure you will be able to follow along. So let's just get started. For this project I will need one skein of drop saffron. It is a sport weight yarn and it is 160 meters per 50 grams. I will also need a three millimeter crochet hook, a darning needle, and some scissors. To begin, we're going to make a magic circle. So I'm going to wrap my yarn around my two fingers to create a cross. Then I will take my hook and insert it underneath the bottom yarn and grab the top yarn with my hook and pull it through. And then I'm going to yarn over and pull through the loop on the hook. And here's my magic circle. And I already have one chain, so I'm going to make one more chain. So yarn over and pull through the loop on the hook. And the two chains here will not count as a stitch. So I'm going to make 12 double crochet into the circle. So I'm going to yarn over and insert my hook into the circle pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through two loops, yarn over and pull through two loops. And again, 11 more times. Yarn over, insert, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And continue around till I have 12 double crochet in total. And now that I have all 12 stitches, I'm just going to pull the yarn tail here to close the circle. And then I'm going to make a slip stitch into this very first stitch. So insert, pull up a loop, pull through the loop on the hook. And to start the next round, I'm going to chain two. And again, the chain two will not count as a stitch, so I'm going to make two double crochet into the first stitch. So one and two double crochet. And I will just continue to make two double crochet into every stitch around. So at the end of the round, I will have 24 double crochet. So just continue to make two double crochet into every stitch. And here at the end of the round, it's always a good idea to just check to see if you have all 24 stitches. So next I'm going to end the round with a slip stitch into the first stitch. So insert and pull through, pull through the loop on the hook. And to start the next round, I'm going to chain two. And I will make two double crochet into the first stitch. And next, one double crochet into the next stitch. And I will just repeat those last two steps all the way around. So I will alternate between making two double crochet into the next stitch and one double crochet into the next. So two double crochet into the next and one double crochet into the next. And here at the end of round three, I will have 36 double crochet. So I'm going to end the round with a slip stitch into the first stitch. So insert, pull through, pull through the loop on the hook. And I will start 
round four by chaining two. And I will make two double crochet into the first stitch. And then I will make one double crochet into the next two stitches. And I will repeat all the way around. So I will alternate between making two double crochet into the next stitch and one double crochet into the next two stitches. So just repeat the sequence all the way around. And here at the end of round four, I will have 48 double crochet. I'm now going to make a slip stitch into the first stitch. So just insert, pull through, pull through the loop on the hook. And to start round five, I'm going to chain two. And I will make two double crochet into the first stitch. And then a double crochet into the next three stitches. And I will just repeat that all the way around. So I will alternate between making two double crochet into the next stitch and one double crochet into the next three stitches. All the way around. And here at the end of round five, I will have 60 double crochet. So I'm going to end the round with a slip stitch into the first stitch. And to start round six, I'm going to chain two. One and two. And I will make two double crochet into the first stitch. And then one double crochet into the next four stitches. So one, two, three, and four. And again, I'm just going to continue to do that all the way around. So I will alternate between making two double crochet into the next stitch and one double crochet into the next four, all the way around. And here at the end of round six, I will have 72 double crochet. So I'm going to end the round with a slip stitch into the first stitch. And I will chain two to start round seven. And in round seven, I'm going to make two double crochet into the first stitch. And then a double crochet into the next five stitches. Two, three, four, and five. And I will just repeat all the way around. So I will alternate between making two double crochet into the next stitch and one double crochet into the next five stitches, all the way around. And here at the end of round seven, I will have 84 double crochet. So I'm going to make a slip stitch into the first stitch. And I will chain two to start round eight. And in round eight, I'm just going to make a double crochet into every stitch around. So 84 
double crochet in total. And here at the end of round eight, you can see that my work is starting to take the shape of a little hat here. So I'm going to end the round with a slip stitch into the first stitch. And I will chain one to start the next row. And here in row nine, I'm going to start to make the iris stitch pattern. So into the first stitch, I'm going to make one double crochet. And then I'm going to skip the next stitch and make two double crochet, chain one and two double crochet into the next stitch. So two double crochet, chain one and two more double crochet into the same stitch. Next, I'm going to skip three stitches and work another group of two double crochet, chain one and two double crochet into the next stitch. So skip one, two, three and make two double crochet, chain one and two double crochet into the same stitch. And I will just repeat those last two steps until I have a total of 18 shells in the row. So again, skip one, two, three, and make another shell. One, two, and chain one, and two more. Double crochet into the same stitch. And repeat. I now have 18 shells in the row, so I'm going to skip the next stitch and make a double crochet here into the next stitch. And I'm going to leave these last 11 stitches unworked. They're going to serve as the neckline of the bonnet. So I'm going to chain one and turn my work. And to start row 10, I'm just going to make a double crochet into the first stitch. And then I'm going to skip the next two stitches and make another shell into this chain space right here. So again, I'm going to make two double crochet, then chain one, and two more double crochet into the same space. Then I will skip the next four stitches and make another shell into the next chain space. So again, two double crochet, then chain one, and two more double crochet into the same space. And I will just continue to make a shell into every chain space of the row. So two double crochet, chain one and two double crochet into every chain space of the row. So here I am at the end of the row and I have 18 shells in total and I'm going to skip the next two stitches and make a double crochet here into the last stitch. And the 10th row is now complete and from row 11 to row 17 I'm just going to repeat row 10. 
and I will just continue and meet you at the end of row 17. All right, so I'm now at the end of row 17 and I'm going to make the straps of the bonnet. So I'm going to chain 43. So yarn over, pull through 43 times. So I now have 43 chains and I'm going to skip the first chain from the hook and make a single crochet into the second chain from the hook. And I will make a single crochet into every chain of the strap. And now that I've finished the strap here, I am going to continue to single crochet into the sides of the stitches here in my bonnet and in the neckline. So I'm going to make two single crochet into the sides of each double crochet. All right, so I have been single crocheting all the way around the neckline and the sides of my bonnet. And now I'm going to make the second strap. So I'm going to chain 43 again. And again, I'm just going to skip the next chain and make a single crochet into the next chain. And I'm going to single crochet into every chain of the row. And now that I finished the other strap, I'm just going to make a slip stitch into this first stitch right here. So I will insert, pull up a loop, pull through the loop on the hook. And I will fasten off my yarn and tie a knot. And all that's left to do now is just to weave in the yarn tails. And I will of course do that on the wrong side. So I will just sew back a few times, back and forth. And cut my yarn. And that is it for today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And if you did, make sure to give this video a like and subscribe to the channel for a lot more crocheting tutorials. I hope to see you next time. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.